G'day guys, welcome to ENR Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig and if you've clicked on this video today, you know exactly what I'm up to. I have 25 lipsticks I need to swatch for you guys. Some of them are new, some of them are old, uh, some of them I'm going to be throwing away. But um, if you're interested in this video, stay tuned. Welcome back guys. Alright, look, I already know that this is going to be a very long video, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to actually show you guys me applying the lipstick on camera, I'm going to just apply it, come back and talk to you about the product and you'll be able to see for yourself what it looks like, what I think about it, maybe even whether I'm going to buy it again or not. I do apologise if you do hear background noise, my four year old is home today, he might pop in, you might hear Siri in the background, I hope not, but it is what it is. I tried to keep today's look just a little bit simple, sorry if it looks a little bit whack today, but I am trying out some new products, don't know how I feel about it yet. And yes, I know I'm wearing sunglasses on my head, I have this habit of needing something there, which is why I probably wear those uh, cat ears all the time, but my hair, I just can't seem to do anything with it at the moment, I want to go and get it cut, but it is what it is. So anyway, enough of that gas bagging, let's get into this video. Let's start with what I'm wearing today. Right now I'm wearing, it's very subtle, but I'm wearing uh, the Fenty uh, Gloss Bomb in Fussy. This is just a, uh, well, it's a lip gloss. And I love this. Um, I think I paid $30 for it. I don't recall where I got it from. I probably got it from Fenty themselves. And I love this just to have in my purse, you know, for when I'm out and about touch-ups or when I just want to put something on my lips, but I don't want it to be too sort of... Um, look at me or anything it just makes me feel good i don't know i don't know what it is about it but i love this stuff and i'll definitely always have one of these in my handbag um other than that i would just normally have regular lip balms or if i was wearing a statement lipstick i might have that in my bag too but this guy he lives in my purse all the time so anyway i absolutely love that and i would always repurchase that repurchase that while it's available moving on we are going to talk about this little guy here this is the Clinique Bare Pop Lipstick. This is just a little mini. These guys are expensive and I really do enjoy this. So I'll come back with you and show you what this guy looks like on. So this is Bare Pop by Clinique. I really do enjoy this. It is a little bit pinky, but I don't hate it. Um, but I really don't like the price. I mean, I've paid a lot more for a lot of other lipsticks, uh, but I just don't find myself reaching it for it very often. And I think maybe it's because it doesn't last very long. Um, even the Fenty Gloss Bomb seems to last longer on my lips than this guy. So this is just a, I guess it's another handy one to have in your um, purse if you just want something for a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, I don't know what you would want. I don't know, you're going to pick up your kid from inside of school and you just feel naked without lipstick but you don't really want it on for the rest of the day, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I wouldn't repurchase this one. Even though I do love the colour, I've just got better formulas with better brands. And uh, yeah, but it is nice. And this is the this is what it looks like on me anyway. Uh, I do have cool skin tone. Uh, a lot of these lipsticks will look different on uh, warmer skin tones. So, but this is what it looks like on me. This next lip that I've got on right now is MAC Whirl. This is actually my current favourite. I just can't seem to get enough of this. I didn't know how this was going to work. And to be honest with you, when I saw this swatched on other people, it looked different than what it looks like on me. Um, but I don't know. I just, I think it's so different to everything that I've been wearing for so long that I just absolutely love it. And uh, so this has actually opened up the door for me to try other sort of brownie sort of looking colors. Uh, I really do love this. I paid $30 for this. I actually brought two MAC lipsticks when I purchased this. The next one is coming up uh, is Velvet Teddy. And um, But yeah, no, this one is definitely my favorite. And um, I know that I'm going to completely use up all this one. And um, look, I've got so many lipsticks to get through. And this, this one and another one that I actually have in my stash are the ones that I've used the most. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be feeling like after this one. Would I repurchase it? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Um, will I have something else on the go when this runs out? That's yet to be seen. So anyway, yes, I love this one. It feels comfortable. It's matte. Um, I think, I don't know if I actually said it or not, but it's $30 for the full size. I wouldn't waste your money on the minis. They do sell minis of these for like $18. Um, but from what I've been told, it's definitely not worth it. They're annoying to put on. They snap all the time. Just get the big one, guys. Um, just sort of try and color match yourself to someone online who has your skin tone because um, 
cool. Who is it? Haley. Yes, Haley from um, uh, Beauty News or just by the makeup uh, wears this shade as well, and we pretty much color match perfectly. Whereas the next one I'm going to talk to you about with um, Velvet Teddy, Cat from uh, Beauty News and Kit Snitch wears it and it looks completely on diff different on her than it does on me. So try and find someone online that has your skin um, skin tone skin tone and undertones and you should be able to sort of match. Don't necessarily go by swatches on the arm online because they don't they don't match up perfectly. But anyway, this is MAC Whirl. Absolutely love it. Alright guys, this next one is MAC Velvet Teddy. This is the other one that I brought with Whirl. This is what it looks like on me. Um, I feel like it gives off sort of pitchy sort of tones on me. It looks a lot more flattering on um, on Kat so, and a lot of other people that I've seen. As I said, this one has a tendency to look different on pretty much everybody. So uh, do some research before you get this one. I don't hate it. Um, it's just not the typical colour that I reach for all the time. Uh, but then again, my typical colour is changing. So let me just have another look myself. Yeah, I mean, I'd wear it. I just... I just wouldn't remember to reach for it. Like, it's, yeah, if I had, mm, out of these 25 lipsticks, there's probably uh, six that I would reach for above this one. So while I do enjoy it, I absolutely like it. It's the same formula as the Whirl one. It's matte. Absolutely love it. Um, I wouldn't purchase this shade again. Um, there are so many shades to choose from, and I actually want to explore a little bit more. I know I'm behind the eight ball when it comes to MAC products, but... Uh, what are you going to do? Anyway, this is MAC Velvet Teddy. This next lipstick, guys, oh my god, I fucking love it. Alright, so this is ColourPop Bell. Um, what type is it? I can't remember. I think this is a Lux lipstick. Guys, I don't think you can buy this anymore. This is mm, mm, right up there. This is one of the top six. Now, I don't like this sort of colour with any other formula that I've ever tried. But when I tried this, I fell in love. And there's a whole story behind it, but I've told this story so many times I'm not going to waste your time and make the video longer. But I absolutely love this, and I'm going to have to pan it since I've only got, like, a little nub left. I may as well pan it. I've just been trying to save it, and I realise, you know, if you don't use it, you lose it. Things like this, they go out of date. So <sighs> I'm going to start using it. I'm going to pan it, um, throw it in my empties, talk about it a little bit more. And uh, But I absolutely love the shit out of this, guys. I'm trying to find a dupe for it. Um... I think there is a dupe for it, I just don't recall what that is, but absolutely stunning. I mean, look at it. I fucking love this. Oh my god, I'm so devastated about what happened with this. But anyway, that's another story. Go check out my other videos if you're interested. Anyway, love, love, love this. Very comfortable, very affordable. I wish they would bring it back. I love the packaging. I mean, this is something else. I don't know whether you guys are going to be able to see that, but it's got all of the Disney princesses signatures on it or what their signatures would look like. It is freaking stunning. Mm. And I mean, I'm a sucker for Beauty and the Beast. I just, it's one of my favorite Disney's. I mean, what can I say? Anyone, anyway, let's move on and uh, go to the next one. This next one, guys, is from Emco Beauty. Now, I received this in a Bella box and it's not my typical go-to color. I mean, I'm not even sure if I feel comfortable in this. No, not really. See, um, well, I think that there's nothing wrong with the formula. I don't even know if it's affordable, to be honest with you, because I don't really buy anything from Enco Beauty. I don't actually know where to buy it, to be honest with you. And this is just not my colour. Um, however, it does have a fine line, which I've never used. It does have a fine line bit here, and then you've got the lipstick part down here, so I guess that is uh, definitely handy. Um, yeah, I just... I don't wear this colour. I don't think there's anything wrong with the formula. It feels nice. I have a feeling that it's probably affordable though. Um, look, no offence to Ballabox, but it's not often that we really do get anything sort of like uh, high-end, I guess. It's very, very rare, to be honest with you, that we get anything high-end, especially full-size. I mean, we have received a, uh, a Fenty lipstick at one stage and a couple of other things here and there, but most of the time it's these affordable brand-style ones. So I, I wouldn't actually purchase uh, this just because I don't really know it and I definitely have other formulas and other shades that I like and I just, I, I've got, I won't use this fine line area, um, you know, the shape of this part here, it goes on that perfectly anyway, so I don't know. Um, 
yeah, it, it's it's nice. The formula is nice, but eh. So, and you know, I just realized that I didn't tell you guys whether or not I'm going to keep any of these or whatever. Um, I think you can pretty much get an idea based on what I say whether I'm going to keep something or not. Um, but as I said, you know, some of these I can't even hand down because I have lip swatched them. Some of them I can't um, sanitize properly. So some of them will be going in the bin. Some of them will be going in a maybe pile. Um, and maybe one or two of them I might be able to hand down. Um, some of them I haven't actually uh, used on my lips. I've used a brush. And those ones I can decide whether or not I'm going to um, keep based on whether I know whether I like them or not. Or you, you get the gist, okay? So anyway, that's that. Wouldn't purchase from this brand because I just, I don't know, I just couldn't be bothered, to be honest with you. I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with them, but I hate this colour and it just doesn't inspire me to uh, reach out and buy more. And that's not the brand's fault. That's kind of like on me. But there's so many other formulas of other brands of lipsticks that I can get easily uh, that are well known that I want to try first before I sort of splash out in any sort of indie brands. I'm not saying that this is an indie brand, um, probably not. It's probably very well established, but uh, yeah, I'm just I'm going in a different direction. So anyway, let's move on. And we are back with another lipstick, and I hate the colour of this on me. And to be honest with you, I don't even know what brand this is. It came in this little cardboard box, so just bear with me. This is the oh, uh, mm -hmm, where is your name? K M, uh, Karen Morrell. Karen Morrell lipstick. Okay, so this is the Karen Morrell lipstick in the shade Pink Scarlet. I don't like this lipstick, uh, to be honest with you. Um, not because of the formula. Um, it smells like cinnamon, but not like cinnamon sugar, like just ground cinnamon. And um, it kind of tastes like it too. I don't like it. I hate the colour. I mean, I just... Mm, I, ugh, I, can't, I want it off. That's how much I dislike this lipstick. This also was a Bella Box one. I couldn't tell you the price. I don't, I've never heard of the brand before. I can't even get it back in the box properly. Um, yes, I really don't like this one, and I am just going to throw this one in the bin. Um, I know, wasteful, I'm sorry, but I just, I've got nobody that I think would appreciate this, and because I have lip swatched this one before, I don't think I can sanitize it very well. Eh, I don't know. Might see, might see if some of my family members want it if they're not grossed out. I don't know. I'd rather just throw it away, to be honest with you. But anyway, um, you know, I just realised I didn't tell you that this M Co one was in the shade Soft Rose. So um, I might actually put the shades and all the information down here somewhere for you guys or over here, whatever. I don't know. Um, yeah, maybe if it's not there, don't don't come for me. Sometimes I forget. Anyway, let's move on. All right, guys. Apologies if my lip swatches are getting terrible. Um, my lips are already sore, and we're only on like the sixth lipstick now. This, guys, this is the Fenty Beauty. I actually don't know the name of this one, so it'll be on the screen somewhere. I believe this is the matte one. This is orange. Okay, so anyone who knows me knows that there's no way in, knows that there's no way in hell that I would have brought this myself. This shade, that is. Um, I was curious about this type of Fenty lipstick, uh, and as I said before, you know. Fenty doesn't always give us uh, cheap or affordable brand products. This one did come out of a Bella box, and I was very happy that it came, even in the shade that it did, because if I don't like the colour, at least I can sort of figure out if I like the formula. And I do like the formula with this one, um, although I, I, I find that it does start to sort of rub off on the inner lip uh, quite quickly uh, in comparison to some of the other lipsticks that I've had. Um, I want to hate this. Uh, I know that's so bad. This is a psychological thing with me. I don't like orange, okay? I, it's been a lifelong thing. I don't like the color orange. I don't necessarily like the flavor orange. Um, it's tolerable. Do you know what I mean? Like there's other things that I could have. I'd rather have. I'd drink it if it's there, but whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I don't hate this. Um, when I first tried it on, I'm like, mm, and it's kind of growing on me. Like, I don't know whether I'm going to wear it, guys. I don't know where I would wear it to, whether I've got the confidence to wear it, but I don't want to throw it out because it's so unique to my collection and maybe I'll wear it. Do you know what I mean? Like, maybe in autumn I'll get a little bit more adventurous because once upon a time I never wore brown. 
Um, and I'm starting to sort of relax with colour, you know, I'm not so turned off by orange anymore. Um, uh, except for clothing, you know, this is about <laughs> this is about the extent of orangey shade that I'll sort of go with my clothing. Um, anyway, I, I enjoy this. I don't know how much this is. Obviously, it'll pr probably put it on the screen. But I enjoy this and I am going to keep it even though I'm not sure whether or not... Um, I'm going to wear it. I need to sort of explore a little bit more. See if I can step out the front of my house wearing this and still feel confident or whether I can... I don't know. But I like this, guys. This is nice. Um, it isn't in my top six favourite, uh, which maybe eventually I'll tell you which ones are my favourite. Maybe you can pick by the end of this video what my top six are. Anyway, let's move on. Alright guys, this next one is from Model Co. So um, this is another sort of browny, burnty, orange colour and I don't hate it but I don't love it either. Um, the biggest problem that I've got with this one is that it smells full on like crayons and it almost feels like I'm wiping a pastel all over my lips. I can definitely feel it on my lips and it feels like it's sucking the life out of it and if I want to my lips to be sucked out like that. I would have just gone with a really crappy liquid lip to be honest with you. Um, this is in the shade Amelia. I think that, um, like I said, the colour is fine, but it really is waxy. It really does stink. I am throwing this one straight in the bin, guys. I'm disappointed because I don't hate the colour. Um, like I said, once again, it is another orangey sort of brown colour. Um, it's definitely not my favourite shade, but I would wear it in autumn or something like that. But I just can't get past that crayon pastel smell and feel. So this, guys, this is going in the bin and I definitely don't recommend this Model Co. Um, Luxe Cream Longwear Lipstick. Um, maybe it's a bad batch. Look, apparently it's only got a six-month shelf life. This did come in a Bella box, so there is a possibility that this is out of date before I even got it, no offence, Bella box, but I don't know. Um, I can just basically tell you what I know. I haven't had it for that long, but she stinks. So, she's definitely going in the bin, guys. Let's move on to the next one. Alright, guys, this next one that I have is a little Mecca Max um, mini, I guess. I got this as a uh, sample when I purchased something. Um, I don't like this. I um, I absolutely hate the colour. I hate the screw-on um, cap because I go to pull it off like all my other ones. I guess it's handy, um, but I just forget about it. I, yeah, mm, I don't like the formula of this. I definitely do not like this shade. I am glad to get it as a uh, freebie though so I could actually figure out what the formula was like. I don't know how much they are brand new. Um, yeah, this one is, oh, they call it the Pout Pop Lipstick. And it's in the shade Day Slayer. So this one's just a little bit too Barbie sort of pink for me. Um, I don't know. Maybe it does look okay, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't wear it, you know. Um, yeah, I would actually be interested to find out from you guys which got which one you guys think actually looks good on me because I don't know. I just wear what I feel comfortable in, but. Mm. Anyway, so I will never purchase this. I don't necessarily recommend it. Maybe it's because it's the color, but. I don't even like the formula, to be honest with you, so let's move on. This next one, guys, is a Maybelline Superstay Ink Crown in the shade, let me see, 15 Lead the Way. These guys are delightful. I don't actually know if you can still get these. I did hear that they were talking about taking them down. I don't know why. These are fabulous. They are long-wearing. They are very buttery. They uh, they feel great. I actually have two of them. Um, I'm definitely not getting rid of either one of them. Um, I think I like this shade more than the other one, which surprises me because the other one is more of a, um, a mauve shade and I do tend to get pulled towards the mauve, but I think this one's a little bit more wearable with pretty much any sort of makeup look I can go. But I like these, you know, just slap it on, off you go, pretty good. They fade down really well, they're affordable. I can't remember the price, like I said, I'll put it there somewhere. But these are fabulous, guys. I absolutely love these. And if you can manage to get your hands on a few of them. Uh, also, the beautiful part is, is they've got a little sharpener on the butt so you can sharpen them. Um, but, you know, even if they do get a little bit blunt, they still draw on fantastic. They are one of the easiest lipsticks that I've found to use. 
Alright guys, so this is the other Maybelline uh, Superstay ink crayon that I was talking to you about in the shade 25 Stay Exceptional. I absolutely love this as well. As I said with the other one, the formula is fabulous. I love the colour, it's long wearing, it's affordable, but I don't know whether you can get them anymore. So just have a little check out at your local, I don't know, Priceline, Chemist Warehouse, Drugstore, wherever they might sell Maybelline products and see if you can pick up some of these guys because they are delightful and I love them and um, yeah, oh, look, <laughs> with the amount of lipsticks that I've got to go through, I think this is going to last me a long time. I do really like this shade. It is staying in my collection, same as the other ones, so let's move on. Alright, so the next one that I've got is a Revlon lipstick. I don't know the name of it. I just know the shade, which is 760 HD Vineyard. I don't know if they make these anymore either, guys, but these feel really, really good. Um, I used to wear this all the time. I loved the shade. I don't know how I feel about it anymore since I've been trying all these other ones. I have not been using this lately. I don't necessarily want to throw it away. Um, I might keep this one and just try and pan it. Um, but it does feel really lovely. I don't remember whether it was affordable, but it is beautiful. So, um, yes. Um, my application is getting worse and worse. My lips are really, really sore and I've got so many liquid lipsticks to get through. Like, the rest of them that I'm going to talk to you about are liquid lipsticks and I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I have 12 liquid lipsticks to get through and my lips are already so sore. So oh my god. This is such a shocking swatch. Anyway, sorry guys. This is Rock Chick. Uh, actually, sorry, this is a Model Rock liquid lipstick uh, called Rock Chick Revel Revolution. It is matte and it is in the shade Woodstock. Um, this smells and tastes like Latan or um, uh, if you've ever smelled the um, Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula, that's what this smells like. I don't like that. I don't know how I feel about the shade. Let me have a little looky. I don't hate the shade, but I do like MAC Wheel better. Um, I'm probably not going to keep this in my collection. Um, I, did, I never reach for it. And I really hate the doe foot too. It's got one of those paddle, rectangular paddle. I don't know if you can see that. Rectangular paddle style um, doe foot applicator. And um, I don't like that. It's quite difficult to use. You can't get perfect lines. Like I made a mess of this. It's terrible. Don't even know if I'm going to be able to get it off. <laughs> anyway, I don't recommend that one. Um, it's just not my favorite. Uh, but I don't know. If you like that sort of thing, go for it. Okay, I've officially resigned to the fact that the swatches are going to get worse and worse, so I'm not even going to mention it anymore. Horrible swatch, right? Anyway, this is Kat Von D's uh, liquid lipstick in the shade Sanctuary. I got sent this in a Bella box. I didn't want to support KVD, my choice, whatever. I'm fine with it now. However, um, I was really interested in their formula, and I was sent this, and I like it. I like this shade. I don't actually know whether this suits me or not. It is quite dark. Um, but I enjoy it and I, yeah, I don't know, sometimes I just like to wear this colour. It's like a, I don't know, I don't know what you would call this. It's kind of like a brown, right, but it's kind of like a dirty grey as well. Um, absolutely love it. I do want to try Lolita, I just haven't got that far yet. Um, the formula is a little bit drying, but it's not so drying that I can't wear it. Normally I would put just like a dab of a little bit of lip balm underneath. I don't know whether it's affordable because I got it through a Bella box, so it was affordable for me because I paid $20 for the entire box of samples and this was a full size. So um, it was affordable for me, but to buy it from Kat Von D, uh, now KVD, I don't know, Vegan Beauty. I actually know they've changed the name again. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but to buy it through them now, I'm not sure. I don't even know if it's the same formula, to be honest with you. Um, but I really enjoyed this, and I'm going to keep this. I won't repurchase this color again, even though I really do enjoy it. But um, yeah, there's that. Next shade and brand that I have on is from Too Faced. This is the Melted Mattes. Um, my lips are really feeling sore, guys, and there might be a little bit of a tinge of uh, the um, KVD coming through the bottom because it was quite difficult to get off. Other than that, and maybe my lips are bruised, I don't know. But anyway, this is uh, the shade, what shade are you? This is the shade Cool Girl. Uh, this was the first one that I actually brought. I thought that this one would suit me. I don't think it does. Um, every time I look at myself wearing it, I hate it. I, mm, I really do. Uh, I love the formula. I don't love the price, but I do love the applicator. Um, I have another two of these in a different shade. I am getting rid of this one. I know I'll definitely never wear this one again. Um, so that's unfortunate. So yes, I would purchase more of these Too Faced uh, 
liquefied longwear matte lipsticks, um, but not in this shade. So I'm going to move on to the other two. I think I paid $32 each for these guys. So mm, you really want to pick your, your mm, it's so hard if you can't try it on. But what are you going to do? Well, anyway, I don't like, I don't like Cool Girl. I, it doesn't look on me as it looks in the swatches or online or on other models. It's terrible. So let's move on. This next shade from Too Faced is Into You. Um, this was the second one that I actually brought. Uh, this wasn't the shade that I thought it was going to be either, to be honest with you. And while I don't hate it, it's also not my favorite. Once again, I absolutely love the formula. Price could be better. Um, feels really nice. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit drying, but nothing like uh, some of the other ones that I've already shown you. Um, yeah, I mean, I will... I will keep this one, but it's a little bit pinker than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was a little bit more mauve. Um, like, I wanted to get Queen Bee because Queen Bee is mauve, but it's more like a grey mauve, and I thought this one was going to be more... I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I just thought it was going to be a little bit more plummier, I guess, and I just feel that it's a little bit too pink pink. So, although I will keep this one um, around for a little bit longer, I don't want to declutter this one just yet. Um... I don't mind it. I don't hate it either. So yeah, I'm a little bit on the fence with this one. Gonna have to play around with it just a little bit more. This next Too Faced shade, guys, is Queen B. Um, I like this better on some other people than me. I don't hate it. I think I actually quite like it. I just don't wear it as often. Um, I have other shades that I like from other brands. What are you gonna do? I should wear it a lot more. Um, this was one of the reasons why I wanted to try Too Faced Liquid Lipsticks. I just haven't found my perfect shade, unfortunately. And as I said, I enjoy this. I don't enjoy the price. Um, I think it feels nice. Um, yeah, I like it. It's sort of like a, a, it, it's a muted purple grey. What can I say? It's, it's beautiful. I love it. Um, I just don't know whether it suits me, to be honest with you. But anyway, not getting rid of this one. I'm going to play with this one a lot more, so let's move on. Alright guys, so the next four liquid lipsticks I'm going to talk to you about are Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipsticks. Um, the shade that I have on right now is a Christmas Cookie. These are... These are iconic. I mean, <laughs> I, I really do love the formula of this. This is why I have four of them. However, I thought that Christmas Cookie would be right up my alley. I have been trying to find like the perfect beige colour um, or just basic colour for me and... I don't know, this one's just a little bit, it feels apricotty to me, like when I'm looking at it, it just, it's, I don't know, it's it's pinky apricotty. I don't like it. I like it on other people much more than me. I don't even want to keep talking about it because I just want to get it off. Um, but they do feel good. Um, less is more when you put these guys on. Don't slather it on because they do have a funny uh, texture and dry down period if you do that. But if you know how to use these guys right, you can mix colors that you don't like. I don't want to throw this out just yet because I want to use it to mix with other ones that I might get in the future. Um, and because, you know, I don't particularly think that they're, they're cheap, cheap, uh, once you translate it to Australian prices, but, um, yeah, I don't know. This one, I don't know. I'm still on the fence about whether or not I'm going to keep this one or not. I don't want to, but I don't know yet. So it's going in the maybe box. Let's move on. This next shade that I have on is Calabasas. This is the first Jeffree Star liquid lipstick that I actually purchased. It's not the one that I wanted though. I originally wanted to get, um... Uh, androgyny, but they'd sold out. So I picked up this and I'm, I'm not disappointed. I really do love the color of this. Should wear it more often than I do. Um, it's just, as I said before, there's a lot of, I've got a lot of lipsticks. That's why I need to cull them down. So uh, I really do love this one. Um, it's just, yeah, I just love it. Let's move on. This next one, guys, is Dull Parts, and I don't know why I brought this. I think I just wanted to get free postage and I needed to pick up something else. And what I wanted to get was sold out. And I saw this and, um, Porcelain on YouTube was always banging on about it. And I, don't, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of pink pinks. So I picked up this one and while I don't hate it, I just don't wear it very often. So I'm going to have to mix this one with a few others and see how I go. This color, guys, is everything to me. I love this shade. Right, so this is uh, Androgyny. This is the one that I've been wanting this whole time. Um... I don't care if it doesn't suit me. I fucking love the shade of this. I need to wear it more often. Um, yeah, I just... I can't say enough about this. This is definitely one of my top six. Did you guess that? At the end of this, I'll tell you what my top six are and we'll see if you actually got them right. Anyway, I absolutely love this and I should wear it more often. I will definitely keep this in my collection. Um, I also love the smell of it. It's got that root beer. Uh, I think it's root beer. 
yeah, that root beer smell, whatever, but it's fucking delicious, guys, and I love it. Um, I know I have over swatched. My lips are, they feel like they're bleeding. They're not, but they feel like they're bleeding. Now, I've only got three more to go, um, and they are Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink ones, and they are so hard to get off, especially because they are darker shades, right? I'm actually not going to keep any of these in my collection, I'm going to tell you now. Um, I don't hate the shade. I don't hate the formula. Um, the formula is a little bit tricky, I will say that straight up. But they are so long wearing and difficult to get off. I... If I was in a if I was in a different line of work, I would definitely uh, I would definitely keep these right. But I don't need to be wearing lipstick that long. Um, and yeah, I've just I've got better formulas. I do prefer the Jeffree Star formula over these uh, Maybelline ones. But there's definitely a place for these. These are not bad by any stretch, um, but they are difficult to apply if you don't know what you're doing. So let's talk about these up next. All right, as I said before, these are the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks. I'm talking fast because I want to get this off fast because once they dry down, guys, oh my God, almost impossible to get off. Anyway, this is number 15 Lover, and um, this is probably one of my favorite shades uh, from the line. Uh, it's definitely the most wearable for me, in my opinion. Um, I want to get this off now, and I'll talk to you about some of the other ones, but uh, these are definitely affordable, and uh, yeah, I'm just not going to keep this in my collection because... I've got no need for something that's this long wearing and this difficult to get off. This next shade, while I don't think it suits me that much, is 120 Artist. I absolutely love this colour as a colour itself. I just don't know whether I can pull it off. Um, but yeah, no, like I said, guys, you know, it is quite difficult to wear these. Um, if you put too thick of a line on, it's going to be goopy a lot of the day. You're going to get that stringy sort of So less is more with this if you scrape it off. You're going to be perfectly fine. It'll be easier to apply. Um, and doing the little um, lip balm trick underneath it will definitely help. But when these do dry down, guys, they're not coming off. You, know, you, you can eat a hamburger with these and it, everything will be perfectly fine. Your lips will still be intact. There won't even be any like little tiny bits missing. They are hard to touch up though, so if you are wearing them for like 24 hours and you need to touch it up, I'd just take the whole thing off and reapply it again. But anyway, let's get this one off. Now this last shade that I have, guys, is number 80 Ruler. Um, I love this shade. Like, it's more of that sort of deep brick red sort of shade. Let me have a look. It may look a little bit pinkier um, at the moment. I had a lot of trouble getting artist off. In fact, I think I took off a couple of layers of lips. So uh, anyway, um, as I said, guys, once these guys set down, they're there. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to express that more than I already have. Uh, they are. They do feel a little drying. I don't find that um, the darker shades sort of accentuate the lip lines or anything like that. I can't tell you for the lighter shades because I never actually liked any of the lighter shades on me. Um, but yeah, these are great. They have a place. If I was going to go to a wedding or something like that, I'd definitely bang this on. If I was going to go to an event where um, I knew I was going to be eating, drinking, talking, or anything like that, uh, and even wind. Where guys, if you're in a windy day and your hair's going to be blowing in your face, once this sets down, it's not going to smudge. You're not going to get your hair stuck in it. They, they definitely have a place. They are affordable. I do recommend them if you like no budge lipstick and you want that to be on 8, 12. I mean, look, if, if you weren't the type of person to uh, take your makeup off, you know, before you go to bed, it's going to be on your lips the next morning. Um, you're going to get up, you're going to go to the toilet, and you're going to be like, oh, oh yeah, you know. Um, please take your makeup off before you go to bed. It's not good for your skin. Anyway. So these, yeah, I do recommend them, but I am getting rid of every single one of them, despite the fact that I love the shades that I have. Um, I think I just want to find formulas that are long wearing, but n not uh, not as long wearing as this. Although, as I said, guys, if you've got, uh, well, actually I haven't said, uh, if you've got a little bit of um, cleansing oil, makeup removing oil, um, whatever it is that you like to use. I couldn't tell you whether micellar water works really well with this, but I can tell you that cleansing oil melts this off just like that. So um, it will come off very, very easily with cleansing oil, but as far as I'm aware, like a, a, a wipe. I mean, look, this is the last lipstick that, um, that I'm going to show you. So I think it's set down. Let me, let me show you, okay? Um, all right, here we go. All right. 
Uh, and that it is coming off uh, on the bits that probably weren't set down properly yet. Hang on, let me. You can see there, it is coming off, but not easily. I'm rubbing pretty hard too. Oh. It's coming off, but not, not easily. Oh my gosh, that top lip. Let me put my mirror down and just look in the viewfinder. Oh. And you can see it's coming off. Clean bit. Is it still there? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's ugly, but it's still there. So, I mean, it will come off, right, with vigorous scrubbing, but it's not going to come off with food, it's not going to come off with touching, it's not going to come off with mm, hair flying in your face or anything like that. So I can't get the rest of this off and I'm not even going to try because I don't want to hurt myself. So I am just going to put some lipstick on to end the, in uh, to end the outro. Alright, so that's not entirely better, but anyway. <laughs> so. Anyway, the point is, these Maybelline ones, they'll stay on your lips. I know I've already talked too much about them. Um, so guys, that was every lipstick that I have in my stash currently. That's 25 lipsticks. Um, to be honest with you, half of them are probably going to go. I don't know which ones. I reckon I might take a photograph and just stick it right here for you. I'm going to move over a little bit. I'll stick a photo here. These guys are the ones that I'm either going to get rid of or like throw in the bin or give away. I'm not sure yet. Not, not, not give away, like, I mean, hand down to like family members or something like that. Um, and these guys are the ones that I'm going to keep. But as I said before, could you remember what my top six were? All right. So which one of you has guessed my top six? If you guessed Mac Whirl, Colourpop Bell, Jeffree Star Androgyny, Fenty Glossy Bomb Fussy, Jeffree Star Calabasas, or Too Faced Queen Bee, then you're correct. The rest of them, you know, some of them are okay, some of them are meh. Um, these six here will definitely be staying in my stash. These are the ones that I predominantly grab for. Um, some of the other ones I just don't want to throw out in case I'm wearing a particularly different look or I'm feeling adventurous or something like that. But some of those formulas are absolutely horrible, like the um, Model Co. one that I told you about, you know, and some of the colours, like the, um, the Cool Girl from um, Too Faced, I just can't do it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they do look okay on me. You guys can be the judge of that. I have no idea. But anyway, the whole point of this video was for you guys to be able to see lip swatches of lipsticks that are either currently still available um, or, you know, you, you can get a hold of or things that, um, you know, maybe you have a similar skin tone as me or um, undertone as me and you wanted to see whether those shades would look good on you based on what they look on me. I don't know. Whatever you get out of these videos is fantastic and I really do enjoy you guys coming and interacting with me and if you've got any questions feel free to hit me a message down below. But if you are new to my channel and this is your first video, I am sorry. This is a very, very long video. I typically like to keep them under half an hour but it never really works. So if you are new to my channel and you want to see more, go ahead, click that subscribe subscribe button it's free you could always unclick it unclick it you could always unsubscribe later on down the track if you don't like what you see but if you are interested in anything else that I do I'm predominantly on YouTube or Instagram my socials will be up on the screen somewhere throughout the video maybe even now um, yeah so hit me a line guys if you like what you saw feel free give me a thumbs up uh, if you've got any other lipstick shades that you think that would actually look flattering on me, go ahead. I'm, I'm interested in to know what you guys think. And if you think that any of these shades suited me that I absolutely detested or anything like that, um, let me know. I love chatting with you guys and I hope that you guys get something out of this video and I'd like to see you in my next video. Bye guys.